entertained and hosted Kevin Durant, an incoming freshman on his visit. Now guarding him in this series, Middleton with that masterful mid-range game. Knocks down the jumper. He didn't have second. And as we know, Kevin Durant has now played five straight full quarters. <laughs> Middleton out top. Looking against Harris, fires the three. Fouled! Counted! Maybe for four! One for four from deep. It is 11 for Giannis with the shorter Shannon. Good dig by Harris. Holiday with a nice show and go. Great passing. Great execution by Milwaukee. Precise. Boy, had a great opportunity there. It's been a real struggle for Brent yeah. Forbes. After shooting so well in that previous series against the Heat, Harden hits his second three of the ball game. No foul. Now the switch. Harris picks him up. Through Holiday. Soft touch. Holiday intentional on that possession. Say, uh, play him a little bit more honestly. Ross Court, good hand by Durant, tips it out of bounds. And I have to say this, you know, about about James. Steve Nash just said what at the end of that Cassidy interview? I'm proud of him. Right? He is gutting it out. He's putting himself at injury risk. And the one thing you, you could say you didn't like his style in Houston, this this or that. This is a virtuoso as a scorer. And oh, by the way, just loves to play basketball. Brent Forbes. Maybe that'll get him on track. The lead up to 12. Brent Forbes with his first field goal. Well, you, you've got to be thrilled if you're Milwaukee. You are shooting 54%. Forbes shows and recovers. Shamit fouled on the attempt. And that's going to be three shots for Landry Shamit. Forbes a little overzealous that time at the defensive end after making a jumper at the offensive end. And Forbes is six for 20 on threes against the Nets in this series after making 50% of his threes on 33 attempts against the Heat. He's one of those other guys that they could really use getting going and Tom Izzo here at Pfizer Forum courtside tonight. Good to see the head coach of the Michigan State Spartans taking a ball game in. Had a chance to greet him a little bit earlier. Well, Friday night on ESPN in the app, we'll have a pair of elimination game sixes for the Sixers Hawks, followed by the Jazz Clippers, Philly Atlanta, 7.30 Eastern. Then it's Utah Clippers countdown crew. Starts it all off at 7 o'clock Eastern time. We talked about that Clippers series against Utah. What about that riveting comeback last night? Trey Young was phenomenal in leading his team. He has been masterful in his leadership. I'm so glad you, you described it in that fashion. Because so much of the conversation and narrative has been about the collapse by the Philadelphia 76ers. Trey Young... At such a young age, his first foray into the playoffs, as you said, the word was perfect, masterful. Holiday with a soft touch off glass. Makes it a 12-point game again. He's just so physically strong and can get to it. the point lead for the Bucks. They played for most of this game. Big weak side pass to Middleton. Line drive no good and Harden back the other way. Brief rest for Kevin Durant. He's at the scorer's table having a conversation with Steve Nash. Boy, that was brief. Harden, it's about as fast as he can go, folks, what you just saw. Giannis is going to force him to his weak hand. Got it to his strong hand and got the floater. It, it is pretty incredible because on the prior the handle, as he got by with his shoulder, if he gets his shoulders by, so physically strong as usually, that's it, it's over for the defender. It took him twice yeah. to get to that floater game. Harden coming downhill off the green screen. Giannis picks him up, fires the three, and hey, remember, this is a guy that led the NBA in scoring three consecutive years. He can cook even on one hamstring. The lead is down to six with five minutes to go in the first half. A 7-0 Brooklyn run, and that's going to be a foul against the Knicks. 
So Giannis is guarding James Harden, and he's going to force him, try to force him right. Look at how dramatic he does. And then James says, all right, I'm going to just get you on the hip, and I'm going to go. And then now you use your footwork to get to that step back three. And this was where I thought he was moving a little bit better in warm-ups tonight. Yeah. That little, the, the footwork is elite for James Harden, getting that separation. Three for four from deep so far in the ball game. Middleton loses it. Griffin picks it up in a sprint. Griffin with the layup. And the lead is down to four. Five swing four. It's fallen. Definitely silent. Giannis on the wing. Touches the paint. Boy, the bully ball program working for Giannis tonight. There's, there's no reason to settle, Mark. There's absolutely no reason to settle. They've not proven they can keep you away from the paint or the restricted area. Harden. Got it back from Griffin, a floater. Whistle and a foul going to be called. That'll put Harden on the free throw line. That's the fourth team foul against the Bucks. Milwaukee only up six with Giannis not settling and being absolutely dominant. Folks, Blake Griffin is a big guy, okay? He's big and he's strong and he's tough. And Giannis just put him right in the basket and then how about that